Hey everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Mind 101. It is nice and brisk out here today. It's definitely not doom cold, but winter is on its way. We've got some sort of polar uh, wackiness coming down this week, which I'm not exactly sure what that's going to do, but they're saying it could be something squirrely going on. So I have learned my lesson. Now, I fought the law and the law won over the last couple years, as I've been outside doing more and more in the winter, I started out, go back to watch some of my really early stuff, like season one of Prepared Mind 101. I didn't have that much good outdoor stuff. So, I'm Chris from Prepared Mind 101. I'm freezing my ass off, so I'm gonna go inside before I do. And I'd be outside just freezing my freaking ass off griping the whole time and it was just completely miserable then the next winter came along and i'm like i'm gonna beat it this time i went and got me some polar tech 300 uh, extreme cold weather clothing system liners and i got the, the marpat jacket that everybody asks me about constantly and don't bother asking because it's extremely difficult to find and even if you could find it it's going to cost you like 350 dollars i just got lucky so forget about that jacket. And I got some, you know, poly pro base layers and stuff like that. And I was a lot better off than I was the previous winter, but I wasn't really, really warm. Man, even with these nice Gore-Tex gloves, which I know were expensive, my fingertips are already freaking frozen. Why can't they, I mean, this is 2013, almost 2014. Why don't we have magic gloves yet? that you can go out and your fingers won't freeze. Now you know that Prepared Mind 101 has come full circle because I am back to bitching about the cold again. And I'd be out with Will and he'd just be sitting there chilling like some big Arctic seal. Uh, nothing bothers him and it would just aggravate the living crap out of me. Good, even with these gloves on, you know, and I'd be able to definitely work with these gloves on. And I run into some... So. After hanging out in the Pathfinder forums and stuff like that, and just listening to Dave beat that drum over and over again, wool, 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 wool. Finally, I just quit fighting. It's all right, fine. I'm going to get some wool, and I'm going to be freaking warm this year. So, this is part one of a series. I'm trying to be a little, go back to doing some stuff for the budget minded people, getting ready for the outdoors this winter. Now the first thing that I did, I went out yesterday with my father-in-law because he likes to go to all these thrift stores and stuff like that and find records that he can turn around and sell for obscene amounts of money on eBay. So I wanted to go through the racks and see what kind of wool that I could find. And I picked up four pieces yesterday and my total cost for these four pieces was about $16. So literally 16 bucks. I've already, it was pretty cold out here earlier in the day, colder than it was now, and I tested some of these out. Which one was it? I want to say it was this one. Joss A. Bank, or Jose Bank Executive Collection. So I could literally take this to the Prepared Mind 101 boardroom and be right at home with it. I know these are pretty friggin' expensive when you buy them in a regular store. XL. This one isn't even, this is the one out of the three that's not 100% wool. This is 80% lamb's wool, 20% nylon. Good winter base layer. Uh, maybe not a base layer, but a good winter layer. Uh, layering is key when you're outside. Uh, if it's too hot, you peel off a layer. If it's too cold, you add a layer. But that way you are able to regulate your body's core temperature accordingly to the outside temperature and the level of activity that you're doing. This one here, this one is the lightest one. I could probably use this as a heavy base layer. And this one is an XL, 100% merino wool. Paid $3.99 for it at a Goodwill. This one's a little more snazzy than usual, uh, something that I would normally wear, but as I've learned my lesson, I just may end up putting this thing on. But again, if you're just 
layering under your jacket and stuff when you're out in the woods. American Eagle Outfitters. 100% Shetland wool. This thing is, this thing just, this thing feels warm right now. I mean, I'm, wanna, I wanna, I'm not wearing any wool right now. I want to put it on. But extra large. Fits me perfectly. $3.99. And then this one, I'm not really big into the whole turtleneck thing. Uh, however, comma, if I'm wearing it under a jacket or something, out in the woods, you know, big deal. Uh, this is a this is one of those areas you want to keep covered. But this one is, it just says what is the what is the label? J Crew. It says it's a medium, but this thing is friggin' huge on me. So it's it says it's medium, but I, it's about an XL. Kind of turtlenecky, but it's real. This is the heaviest one of all of them, 100% wool. Doesn't say what kind of wool, it's just wool. As long as it says wool, that's all that freaking matters. Cotton, acrylic, ain't gonna do nothing for you. Wool, wool, wool. Get yourself some wool. I know Under Armour is cool. I mean, we all like going into Dick's Sporting Goods and seeing the, the, the big scary football player sitting there in the poster with his football. He's like, I'm going to protect this house because I've got Under Armour. You can't hurt me. I've got a $90 shirt on that doesn't do squat when it's cold. A couple weeks ago, I went up to Cabela's. And there was like this, uh, I, I wanted a new hoodie. And they had this Under Armour hoodie. It had like the real tree Under Armour logo. It was IR, cold gear, heat reflective, puts more heat back onto you. It's like 90 bucks. I'm like, eh. Well, I do, I need something kind of cool looking. I'm going to get it. Next day, luckily, it was cold. So I put it on, went outside, froze my ass off in about a minute. I put that thing back in the bag took it back worthless under armor i like i like under armor a lot for summer type stuff but all that cold stuff i'm told that they've got some base layers it's like 3.0 4.0 that will might actually do something in the cold but that stuff is really really expensive common man cold wisdom keep it simple stupid wool Go hit the Goodwill, the thrift stores, uh, the places like that. You know, make sure there's no bed bugs on them. To, uh, you know, anyway, just just to be safe. That's a hell that you don't want. Find the the thickest, heaviest wool sweaters you can get. Get them for a couple bucks. Throw them in your trunk for an emergency. Put them in your emergency packs. Wear them when you're out. Uh, wool socks. Get them wherever you can. If you have a Costco membership, they've got the Kirkland brand merino wool socks, and I'm sure they're probably not 100% merino, but they're like 11 bucks for four four pair. And I read the reviews on them; people love them. So I got me some of those. Anytime you're looking at a label that says merino wool, don't just oh merino wool. Spend your money. At, even Costco sells some base layers, uh, quarter, quarter zip base layer. It says merino wool. You look at the label, it's 11% merino wool and the rest is acrylic. Guess what? It doesn't do anything to keep you warm because I tried it. Yeah, it looks cool, but you're out in the woods. It's one thing when you're out building your shelter and hiking and stuff like that. The trick, tricky part comes when you actually sit down and hold still. So, to that note, I am also going to put a link in the description box below to my friend Justin Wolf and his channel, which he is tackling some of these same subjects right now. And he just did a video on how to stay warm when you're sitting still. So, definitely check that out. Check out his channel. Throw him a sub while you're at it. So, that's it for today on this particular part of the Budget Common Man Getting Ready for Winter series. Thrift store, wool sweaters. Thrift store, wool sweaters. I got more cold weather insulation right there for 16 bucks. I mean, a, a cheap 
cold gear under armor shirt that isn't going to do anything for me is going to cost me at least forty dollars six wool sweaters for 16 do the math so there you go wool hats wool socks go wool so anyway i'm chris from prepare my 101 thanks for watching be sure to click like share and subscribe we will continue this series on getting ready for winter uh coming up probably do at least one each week as we delve further and further into winter uh, check me out on amazon preparedmind101.com since i'm hot on this wool thing i just added a basically a whole wool section they got some good stuff on amazon uh, some brands that came highly recommended to me one of them being minus 33 uh, is a wool company uh, that's some stuff i'm going to get myself i know will's used them and uh Dave recommends them, and then also Icebreaker. I need to put some Icebreaker in there too. Icebreaker is another good brand. If you're looking for some brand new uh, wool base layer type stuff. So I got a whole new clothing section in there with wool. Uh, Facebook, facebook.com forward slash prepare my 101, and Instagram, Twitter, and Google Plus. Follow me there. All right, guys, I'll be back with some more videos here soon. See you then.